Did you know that Instagram carousels have the highest engagement rate, but are underutilized by most entrepreneurs? Also, creating carousels with images and videos is a great way to make the Instagram algorithm work in your favor. If you're not incorporating Instagram carousels into your marketing strategy, you're missing out on one of Instagram's most powerful features. With Instagram carousels, you can boost your engagement, reach new audiences, and even drive product sales. If that sounds like something that you're excited about learning how to do, then keep watching. Welcome to episode 24. I'm Lisa and this is Lisa on autopilot where I help you build your brand, grow your list and make more sales on autopilot. Since 2008, my automated business has generated millions of dollars in revenue. And that's why each and every week I create a brand new video made specifically for you. So if this sounds good, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and that bell notification. So you don't miss any future episodes. In this episode, I'm going to share with you exactly how I go about creating my Instagram carousels to generate leads and sales for my business. Now there's two types of carousels that you can create. Number one is regular square carousels and number two is seamless carousels. I'm going to teach you how to create both in Canva. So let's go. Okay. So there are two ways to actually create an Instagram carousel. The first way is to click on the Instagram post uh, inside of Canva. So if you don't have a, Can a Canva account, you can go to canva.com and create a free account. Um, and then you're going to click on create, uh, look for Instagram post. So you can come here and type in Instagram post and you will see it right there right here okay so either way works fine and so now what you're going to do is you're going to click on create a new post and on the left hand side you will see the templates so what you're going to do is you're going to actually type in 10 page carousel okay so 10 page carousel if you hover over some of them you're going to see that it says uh, you know, the, the amount of pages that it has. So that one has 10, that one has seven, that one has two. So depending on what you're looking for, I usually like to fill up the whole thing because uh, car uh, with carousels, you can post up to 10 pictures uh, and videos. So what you're going to do is you're going to choose a template. So for example, I really like this one here and you can see all the templates there, right? And you can change them, the color scheme or whatever. Um, so what you're going to do is for the first one, you're just going to click on uh, the, the the layout that you want. So I'm going to go ahead and go with this one and I'm going to click apply all 10 and that is going to give me all 10 right here. Okay. So now all I have to do is go in and change the words, change the colors, you know, um, add the wording that I want to put here for, for, you know, my Instagram account and all that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna show you what I actually did for my Instagram account using that ex that same exact template and how I was able to design it the way I want to design it. So I'll take you on over to my Instagram account and I will show you because I literally just posted it right before I created this video. So let me go to my profile and you will see it right here. Okay, so if we click that, if I scroll through it, you will see a seamless carousel, right? So this is how you do it with just the templates. And you can see I basically designed it with my own brand colors and exactly how I wanted to design them. Okay, so that's the first way of doing it. The second way of doing it is if you go to the home page um, over here on uh, Canva, you're going to click on create design and if, this is if you want to create it from scratch so you'll go here and you'll click on custom size and what you're going to do is click on you're going to do five uh, 5400 by 1080 create a new design and that's going to open it up to look like this okay so what you're going to do is you're going to go to elements and you're going to look for a square so we're going to click square. 
square element, put that right in there. And you're gonna drag this element to the corner and you're gonna stretch it out. Now this is a whole entire square, right? So you'll even it out like that. And then you're gonna click on file and show rulers. So make sure that the rulers shows and you'll see the ruler right up here. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put your mouse over here. You see how your mouse turns into like a left and right arrow. You're gonna drag that to the end of that square right there. When you're done with that, you're going to move that square over and you're gonna move it over until you see that line. And then you're gonna do it again. You're gonna grab the ruler and you're gonna take it to the next one. Okay, and then you're gonna grab the square and you're gonna drag it over and you're gonna grab the ruler and drag it to the end of that. And then we'll drag that there drag the ruler. So what we're doing is we're creating five carousel posts here, right? So now what you can do is you can go ahead and get rid of that square. So now we have evenly squared uh, carousel posts, right? So now all you need to do is go to template and they already have some templates that you can choose here and you can see that they're already positioned for you to cut them into squares. So there's some really great ones that you can, you know, just play with if you like any one of these. But if you don't like any one of these, what you can do is you could just simply, let me go ahead and delete all of this. You can simply create your own. So if you have an idea, let's say for a background, gradient. So I'm going to type in gradient. And let's say I wanted to use that. Okay, so now I have my gradient background, and now I can go in here and look for elements. So let's say mockups, um, or let's say frames, I should say frame. Let's say I wanted to use um, a cell phone frame. So I can just go ahead and move that and put it right in between the lines so that when people are scrolling through your carousel, you'll be able to, you know, it'll, it'll go from one image to the other and just look like one carousel. So you can go ahead and, you know, just keep doing that. You know, there's several elements that you can look for. So for example, let's say abstract, abstract here. Let's say I wanted to add some of these elements here. We can go ahead and add that like that. Create another one, bring it over here, turn it around and maybe do something like that, right? And I can just keep going until I, you know, add my own uh, stuff to it. I can create my words that I want to put here. So if I wanna put some words here, put some words on the front page, turn it to whatever color. Let's see, I wanted to create that white, right? And then I wanna add some more words, let's say here and here or whatever. Now, if I wanted to create, um, th now this is for five images. If I wanted to create all 10, I would just simply copy the design once I'm done. And then if I wanna move stuff around, I can do that and just continue designing it. Okay, so once you are finished designing it, I'm gonna go ahead and create a new one and I am going to put one of the templates here. I'm just gonna choose, let's say this one. Okay, so let's say this is the template that I have designed. It's a custom made template. I love it, my image is on it, whatever it is on it, my call to actions and all that kind of stuff. Everything is on it. It's designed exactly the way that I want. And also, as you can see, the lines are in there. So that means it is ready to be sliced into five. Or if you have another one here, we can create another one and you can have like a second design or however you want to do it. But let's say it's just only five and I wanted to cut these images into five graphics. So now what I'm going to do is I am going to download this image. Uh, first, we're going to name it. Okay, so let's name it at the top. I'm going to call it Carousel uh, Post 1. And I'm going to download that. So we're going to download it as a PNG. So I'll download that. And now what we want to go to, uh, what we want to do now is go to Google and look for Pine Tools. 
Okay, so there goes Pine Tools. This is a free website where you can actually cut the images that you want to cut. And now what I'm going to look for is split image. We'll type that in the search bar and you can see the first one comes up and it says split image. So we'll click that. And then right here, we are going to put, uh, we're going to upload the image that we just created. So I'm going to go ahead and look for my image on my computer. So we named it Carousel, this one right here, Carousel Post. And we're going to choose horizontal and we're going to make sure that it is set to five. And now we are going to split image. Okay, and now you can see it's one, two, three, four, five images. So now we're going to download um, each image individually. So now all you need to do is just click on it and that will instantly save it to your computer. So I clicked on image one. I'm going to click on image two, image three, image four, and image five. Okay, now let's say you actually wanted to use 10 images. Well, obviously you're gonna have to create um, two of these, right? So where is it? Two, two of these. So that means you would do this part twice. So right now I just uploaded the first one, which is five, and then you would upload the second one, which will also be five, because you can only do five at a time with this. All right, so now we have the images downloaded to the computer. And so now at this point, all you're gonna do is email them to yourself, the five images. You're gonna open up your email from your phone and then you're gonna download each image to your phone or video if you have videos in these, um, you know, in your Canva design. You're gonna download the file to your, to your phone. You're gonna open up Instagram. All you're gonna do is when you go to upload, you're looking for this icon right here. See that icon right there? You're looking for that icon right there on your cell phone when you actually upload them because this will allow you to upload 10, you know, five, eight, seven, however many images you have, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up mine so you can see how it looks. And as I scroll, you're gonna see that it looks like a seamless uh, image. So you could see like that and like that and like that. See that? And it just looks really, really good, okay? And then of course, my call to action is at the end. And at the end of this, you know, make sure that you're just not just putting like one little sentence, right? Fill up this up, make it look like a little mini blog post. Give a call to action with, you know, whatever it is that you want them to do. And then use the hashtags that are related to the post. And one of the things that I actually like to do is I use a bot so that I don't have to like sit because my call to action is type watch in the comments and I will instantly send you the link in the DM. Now, I don't want to have to sit here and, you know, have to follow up manually with everybody, right? You know that I'm all about automation, but um, I'm also all about using automated tools that are approved by Instagram and Facebook, right? And so um, I actually use a tool that, as you can see here, it says type watch in the comments and I will instantly send you the link in the DM. So this tool, when somebody puts, you know, types in watch in the comments, they are instantly going to get a notification with the link to go watch the video on my YouTube channel. Okay, so um, I really love this tool. So if you wanna learn more about this tool, I actually did a video that you can look for right here. So there you have it. Let me know what your biggest takeaway was from this episode in the comments below. And I might just give you a shout out in my next video. And don't forget to grab my free resource, DM Profits, where I teach you how to easily grow your email list to get new customers, team members, and clients using a customizable social media direct message script that you can easily start using in conjunction with your Instagram carousels. You can grab that free resource at dmprofits.lisaonautopilot.com and the link will also be in the show notes below. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure that you share it with your friends on social media. And before you leave, make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos just like this one. I'll see you on the next episode.